And they thought my finished object is something that they thought never happened. Hey there, my name is Elona. I am Anita, and today I want to show you some of my finished objects, some of my work in progress, and some yarn that I bought. If this sounds like your cup of tea, take your cup of coffee, your tea, your knitting, or whatever else you're doing right now, and let's start! Uh, the first object that I want to show you, it's what I'm wearing right now. This is my finished test knit. This is my cardi jumper by uh, Work Knit. I will add here a bit of information about the designer. It's a v-neck boxy fit cardigan with buttons, with stripes. She updated her previous a cutty jumper with this marinara version where you have stripes, a bit more boxier fit, a double knitted button band, and uh, she changed also cuffs and a bit gauge, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, probably yes. I love this cuff. Uh, they are knitted on a really tiny needle, 2.5 millimeters for me to meet the gauge, and she wrote in her pattern about 2 millimeter needles. It's so tiny, but as you can see, it really, it really works it because it looks so like machine made, like uh, a strong board cardigan, and I really love how it looks. As for the stripes, I probably you can see over here. I twisted the yarn each time when I changed the color, just because I don't want to handle all of these ends after I finish the cardigan. So this is this for me is much more heavier. As for the bottoms. I couldn't choose bottom, that's why there is some stones and uh, beads added there and it looks really beautiful, but as you can see <laughs> I messed up a bit with uh, sewing them and uh, the stripes isn't on the same line when I clone the cardigan I'll redo them, but I can't do it right now. I just want to wear this cardigan to enjoy it. And that's why we, we are keeping it as is. As for the yarn that I am used here, it's Red Rosaria Mondim. Uh, the contrast color is 100. It's undyed color. Plus uh, this burgundy color. It's uh, 304. I've used around two and a half skeins of male color and just one quarter of my contrast color. And I think that I have enough yarn for knitting maybe a hat uh, or a matching pair of socks for this cardigan. And it should be really enjoyable because I really like this yarn. It can be a bit rustic when you try it or when you wear it the first time, but uh, during the wearing time, for me, it feels, it feels pretty okay. Uh, and I should mention that I can be really sensitive to the yarn, and this isn't creating so much problems for me, and I love how it looks uh, on cut right now. I think it's really beautiful, and this color suits me. Also, you can wear this cardigan with bottom bands on your back uh, and have this v-neck on the back and a really beautiful neck in front. I don't know which one I prefer more. I'll add here some pictures of wearing it in a different way. And you can choose which one to love more. As for my next finished object, that is my City Hiker beanie. I've talked about it a bit more on my previous video. I'll add a card book somewhere here where you can take uh, where you can watch the video 
and then shove the disguise with it here as well. This is the beginning with ear flops. And <laughs> I'm not sure that I want to wear it like this, but you can tie these ties. What I think. <laughs> I think it's really cute, but I'm not sure that it's great for me. Uh, this hat needs really quickly. Uh, I've used, oh, I forgot to mention, for the cardigan I used uh, four millimeter needles for the main fabric, 3.5 for the hem, three millimeter needles for the button band, and 2.5 for the cuffs. It's all needles that I've used really. It's a good amount of needles. <laughs> This hat is needed on 6mm needles, uh, the body of the hat. Brim is needed on 5mm uh, needles as well as is ear, ear flips. Uh, the brim is needed using double knitting. I've, used, I've needed a lot of double knitting, as you can see. This button went on the cardigan and over here as well. Uh, the yarn that I've used here is uh, Hamilton Tweed 2 from Bissinan. I like this black yarn and we agreed with the design that that black yarn is something that uh, really suits this hat. And it's something, and I guess you're thinking about this hat, you should need it in black because it looks really beautiful and really so, so cute. And I like these bits of tweed because it adds some visual interest to this hat. Uh, what's more? I have used uh, two and a half skeins for my size. I've needed a third, third or second size. I added information over here and also you can check out my Ravelry where I added all uh, additional information about this hat. It needs pretty quickly. Uh, brim can take a bit longer time because you need to double knit in the round for some amount of centimeters and then adding the ear flaps just to take one hour for both of them. It looks real cute and I enjoyed knitting. So if you're looking for a great winter hat, I recommend, I highly recommend this one because you can knit it really quick and have something unusual and not, not like everyone wearing right now. And the thought, my finished object is something that I thought never happened with me. I had a knitted sock. And the needle sock number two. I finished a pair of socks. I'm really happy because I never finished a pair of socks before. I just needed one, started another, forget about it, and right now I have a pair of socks. It's quite unusual for me. This is Sunday socks. They are pretty long. <laughs> I've needed uh, 35 centimeters uh, before the heel, while the pattern recommends 25 centimeters. I've used two and a half skeins of uh, Sunday Perfect and knitted them on 4 millimeter needles using magical. I find out that knitting magic, knitting using magic loop for socks and sleeves works best for me. I don't feel comfortable with the pants because I always feel that I will move my eyes with them. I don't know why when I'm feeling so intimidated by them, but not for me. Uh, probably maybe like the last part of head decreases can be worked on the pants and that's all. And also I love using them for eye cord. It's all. Don't ask me anything more on the, on the deep ends. Uh, this sock maybe look a bit strange for you because I don't have uh, sock blockers. I'm not sure that I am ready to invest right now into them because I need to knit at least one pair of socks more to understand if I enjoy knitting something except Sunday socks. I enjoyed this pattern. It's pretty straightforward. You have uh, two by two rib. 
really easy heal. Um, and I'm not sure that this heal is uh, that this heal has enough durability in it because it's just knitting without uh, something else. And I think that in case I wear them with my shoes, I can ruin them. Uh, I know that this yarn has uh, nylon in it, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure that it will be okay. I wear them only once uh, to take photos, and it's all because I wanted to show you beautiful, not ruined socks. You'll see how it works, and probably I'll keep you updated uh, what is happening with the heel. And probably if I'll need them next time, I'll go to something different on the heel. Uh, probably I'll add some twisted stitches or something like that. Please write me in the comments below what do you think is the most durable way for knitting heels. As for the toy, as for the toy, I like how it looks. It looks really neat, and I, I didn't need to use kitchener stitch, <laughs> which was really happy, uh, which was really cool for me because I've needed. A, I finished the first sock during my flight to Madeira and the second sock I finished during my train from one city to another when I was returning home from Madeira. So I feel that uh, kitchen or stitching trains and planes can be a bit too difficult for me right now. Uh, and I'm pretty happy how they look. We'll see how it will wear. Probably I'll wear them only at home, but we'll see. And let's go to my work in progress. And uh, one thing that I want to mention to you, uh, right now I have a lot of uh, free time for knitting. Life happens uh, in this uh, the life happened like that, that I have a really huge amount of time right now for knitting, so you shouldn't be intimidated by the amount of knitting that I've done right now, because probably in a few months I won't have the same amount. So you do you, and you shouldn't think that if I need so much, you should do the same. Uh, let me show you my zipper sweater man. Uh, last time I showed you only uh, the rib and German shirts, probably I finished them and the two, I don't remember. Right now we have a pretty big amount of yolk. As you can see, it's really a huge amount of yolk. If this sweater was mine, I think that a few more rows and I'll split for sleeves. I'll split for sleeves, but it's not a sweater for me, it's sweater for my partner. And as you know, <laughs> for a men's sweater, you need to work much more than for my size. I'm a really small girl. <laughs> uh, and it uh, the, all of this took me just one evening, I think, maybe two evenings. It needs pretty fast, but for, on 4 millimeter needles and with the amount of stitches I have right now and I need to add 80 more stitches, it will be longer than I want. And I think that after, need, after splitting for the sleeves, I'll add several centimeters after the, on the body and then switch to the sleeves because I'm not sure that it will be okay for my hands to need all the body and then both of the sleeves because it will be heavy. It's gonna be really, really heavy. Probably you can see it closer right now. It's just a rib and a lot of knitting right now, not in the round. I think that when I'll join in the round, it will be much faster. I love how this yarn works out, but I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of knitting from it. But I know that 
this yarn isn't isn't really soft, and it will. That's why it will be much more durable, and uh, I shouldn't have any problems with it. My partner won't have any problems with it, and there won't be lots of problem. I really hope that I could finish this sweater this year, uh, probably till December, but I don't, I'm not sure that it's possible, but we'll see. Uh, the next my work in progress, probably you've seen it if you saw my previous video about winter accessories and my plans about them, probably you've seen this. This is a winter hood uh, by Knitting for Olive in a bright orange color. It will be just a hood because I think I need something else except uh, hats uh, to add some variety to my winter wardrobe and also to need something. I want to need something new. I thought about balaclava or this hood and I decided that maybe balaclava won't be great for me because I like really to cover my chest, uh, not to be cold. And I have uh, several colors that have uh, uh, v-neck, so probably the hood will be much better, so I decided to go with the hood. I didn't eat using Knitting for Olive Heavy Merino and Soft Silk My Hair. It's my first time when I'm knitting with Knitting for Olive uh, Heavy Merino. I can say that the most enjoyable yarn to knit. Probably it's less enjoyable than knitting with uh, Knitting for Olive Merino, but I can say that I have some problems with it right now. It's knitting pretty fast. Uh, despite the fact that I've misread some instructions and <laughs> needed uh, the body part 10 centimeters longer than I have to, then I have to frog it and start knitting uh, my first shoulder. I think that I could finish it in several weeks and I'm gonna enjoy it. As for the colors, uh, you can see closer that there is a slightly mild effect. Uh, I'm using bronze orange silk hair and uh, heavy merino in color uh, rust. It looks really great and it will add some bright uh, autumn autumnal color to my winter one, to my winter accessories wardrobe. And the last work in progress that I want to show you it's a sponsored test need. Uh, which I was really happy to get. It's test knit for Colibri by Johanna on Instagram and uh, a French brand of yarn uh, Loli Lafie. Uh, this is a brand how it's called and what I knitted. I'm knitting this really stunning uh, blouse. <laughs> As you can see uh, stripes uh, Leave, uh, I live in my heart and they don't want to leave me right now. So this is a striped blouse uh, with deep v-neck. I finished the yoke and uh, 20 centimeters of the body. Now maybe 70 or 18, something like that. I enjoy knitting them, knitting this and knitting using 3.5 mm needles to meet the gauge. It's a bit tricky, to be honest, to knit with my hair, especially when you're knitting in the train, because I tried to knit it in the train and it was a bit of a disaster, because from time to time you have uh, to go back and uh, fix some stitches. But I love how it looks. I really imagine wearing this blouse probably for the New Year's Eve, wearing black long palazzo trousers, uh, some necklace. I think that I'll 
create some necklace. I have one idea. I'll show you some inspiration here for the necklace that I'm I'm gonna create to this blouse and I think that I'll finish the blouse and create uh, this necklace and add some photos to my Instagram uh, in a box of my creations. And uh, yes, Britain, it's one of my new hobbies or reborn hobbies. I, I have this hobby I had this hobby in my childhood, uh, then I grew up, forget about it, and right now I get starting to remember what I was doing in my childhood because this really helps with my mental health, helps with my well-being, and I hope that it will be really enjoyable again. So, uh, about this project, as you can see, it's really, really fluffy. The color that I'm using is truffle in um, here and the fingering merino. It's non super wash merino. Yes. Ah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's super wash merino. It's right, so soft. Yes, this is super soft, super wash merino. And um, here, uh, it's. I think that's probably. Yes, it's 72% my hair and 28% of silk. I like how it looks on me, but I don't <laughs> add some photos right now because it's too cropped to show. Probably next time I'll show you a bit more. And that's all that I can add right now about this. I enjoy working on it and hope I could finish it soon because I'll have the deadline in two weeks and I I've made a huge progress just in one week. So I think that's really possible to finish. And uh, that's all for my work in progress right now. And the next part will be my young acquisitions. And if you don't want to hear about them, you can stop watching and uh, leave some comments below what of my projects you've enjoyed the most and do you want to need this kind of jumper probably or the hat or the socks do let me know about uh, what you like the most and what you want to need to yourself and for the young acquisitions uh, let's start from knitting for olive they recently had some 10% sales. Ah, yeah, I found it. Uh, they recently had a 10% sale on their website. It's something unique for them because before they j just added some charity uh, programs, then you can bought some yarn and all of the profits will go to the Red Cross to support Ukraine and right now they decided to uh, it was in the 1st of October if I'm not mistaken they had sale on their website 10% on everything and I couldn't resist really I bought this heavy merino in rust as I told you before and that I'm using right now for my hood and this Brand orange uh, my hair. <laughs> the reason why I bought this brand orange is that because Marlene from Marlene Meets uh, on Instagram and probably Marlene, she is in Marlene Meets on YouTube. I really enjoy watching her here. She showed this in her stories and I saw that I really need this my hair in my life. I wasn't sure to, that I'm ready to the whole for the whole sweater, so I decided to need the hood. I bought uh, this for the hood, uh, two balls of hair and four balls of merino. Also, I bought this merino in. Plum clay. As you can see, it's really similar to the yarn that I have knitted my child's blouse. And uh, uh, 
the hair in the same color. It's plum clay as well. I, I got a sweater quantity of these. I hope that I could create probably. Um, I'm thinking about pearl sweater with v-neck. Maybe something else, we'll see. But I really needed this in my life. And also, I have uh, two skeins of green cotton merino and uh, several skeins of green my hair and I want to need something interesting. I don't tell you. I'm not gonna tell you right now what I, I want to need because I'm not sure that it will look. But I bought uh, several skeins of cotton merino in this grey. Uh, it's uh, koala grey and several skeins of soft silk my hair in rainy day. They look perfect together. And I want to pair uh, cotton merino with silk my hair to knit a sweater. And that's all that I'll tell you right now about this sweater. And the last my acquisition is uh, this Sadness Gum uh, tweed. It's recycled tweed. It's Sadness Gum uh, soft silk for hair. I'm not sure how they, uh, I forget how they called it and I don't know where is my paper from it because I've tried to swatch with this yarn. This is gonna be um, one more just knit for Gregoria fibers. I bought this yarn by myself, so I got only uh, the pattern uh, to test knit, and uh, I paid for the yarn by myself. I'm gonna need a ripped hat. I made a swatch. It's really fluffy. It's one by one rib. I started right after uh, filming this video. And uh, I have to finish it in two weeks. I think it's pretty easy for me right now. And it will be a hat, a ripped head with folded brim. I need uh, a grey hat in my life because I have a variety of uh, colors in my accessories uh, collection. If you're interested, you can go uh, check out my previous video. And they really needed something not so bright. And as for my uh, additional acquisitions, I have some. Uh, I had a birthday on the eighth of October, eighth of October, and I got some certificates from my friends. I got uh, the bag from Mood, and I bought finally the umbrella to buy wind my yarn. I let you an image over here and I finally uh, wind my yarn without stressing and <laughs> without any problems. Uh, no, I had some stress and some problems because my head, cat tried to help me too much, but <laughs> we'll admit this fact and I'm really grateful for my friends uh, to give me such great presents and to encourage me to need more <laughs> and they and they support me. And it's that's all, yes, that's all I have. Yes, that's all I have. That's all what I wanna what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for spending your time with me. Happy meeting and happy whatever you're doing right now. Thank you for supporting me and this channel, it means so much. See you!